What's going on guys, Ross RS here and today I'm just trying out my new jumper One thing about this hoodie is that it's just so uncomfortable in my hands Ah, It just digs in Alright, can you hear me? Probably not um, Just thought I'd record a little I'm just on the topic of Jack and Jill new mills and um, done we just got a few shots wearing this new jumper. Uh, it's a, I'll turn it around. It's a Kevlar lined, just like armoured jacket sort of thing. It really looks like a normal hoodie. Um, but of course it's all armoured so you can just wear it as is. Oh, my bike needs some proper clean. Look at that. Just rust. Exhaust is absolutely awful. It is all just surface rust though, so I can just like wipe it off, but still it's a bit of a pain. So, if you can hear me, uh, welcome to probably the second part of the motor vlog that I did last night. Uh, haven't really been up to much, haven't really got many topics to talk about. Just general riding really. Uh, now I've been looking at all the different sort of options that I could um, sort of get for my A2 bike and it's just such a hard choice at the moment I am um, I don't know I've got a bit of a list and uh, number one at the moment is the Prilia Dorsa Duro 750 um, followed by an SV 650 Possibly a KTM Duke. I'm just really not too sure. I don't think I want to get a inline four, um, V4 maybe, um, but probably not inline four for an A2 license. Uh, but I'm also thinking uh, V twin, possibly parallel, possibly single. Just depends really. Um, I think the best thing to do is actually just to try out each style and see what feels best for me. A bigger bike is going to be obviously heavier. Um, so I'm thinking that if I get like a super motor, it might be a bit too heavy than what I'm like used to and I won't enjoy it as much maybe. I'm not sure. I need to shop around a bit. Uh, 